In this lesson, let's understand the dangers and impact of social scoring and the legislative guardrails the EU Artificial Intelligence Act puts in place. The concept of using artificial intelligence to assign social scores to individuals based on their behavior and characteristics might sound like something out of a dystopian novel, but it's a real possibility with AI technology. The EU AI Act addresses this potential issue head-on by prohibiting AI systems that engage in social scoring. Due to the significant risks such practices pose to fundamental human rights, including dignity, non-discrimination, equality, and justice. So, what even is social scoring? Social scoring by AI involves evaluating or classifying individuals or groups based on various data points. These could include aspects of their social behavior across multiple contexts or predictions about the personal characteristics over time. This is not just about assessing someone's creditworthiness or eligibility for a service based on direct interactions. It extends to broader, more invasive judgments about their social worth. For example, imagine a scenario where a social scoring AI system tracks a person's online interactions, purchasing habits, and public behavior to calculate a score that could affect their eligibility for jobs, loans, or social services. This score might influence not just how institutions interact with them, but also how they are perceived and treated in society at large. So, what are some risks and consequences of social scoring? The primary concern with social scoring is that it can lead to discriminatory outcomes and the exclusion of certain groups of people. This type of AI application for social scoring could enforce conformity. This can happen when people are penalized for non-normative behavior or views that don't align with what's deemed acceptable by societal or governmental standards. Social scoring can also perpetuate discrimination. Amplifying existing biases in data sources leads to unfair treatment of minorities or economically disadvantaged groups. Social scoring can also lead to the misinterpretation of context. Applying judgments made in one context, like financial behavior, to entirely unrelated areas, such as professional opportunities, can be both disproportionate and unjustified. For example, consider a local government using an AI system that scores residents based on their civic engagement and social interactions. Those with lower scores might find themselves with reduced access to city services or public housing, not because of any tangible infractions, but due to a lower level of engagement deemed by the AI as less desirable. The global artificial intelligence governance market is on the brink of explosive growth, set to soar from 890 million US dollars in 2025 to an astonishing 5.7 billion US dollars by 2029. That's an unmatched annual growth rate of over 45%, making AI governance the gold rush profession of the decade. This isn't just a career opportunity. It's your chance to become a credible strategic human in the loop, shaping how artificial intelligence, law and ethics converge to impact our world. Don't get left behind. Visit lawtofficialintegrity.ai and claim your place in the AI governance revolution. So, are there any regulatory exclusions and lawful evaluations? The EU AI Act clarifies that not all forms of evaluation or classification of people are prohibited. Lawful practices that assess persons for specific, legitimate purposes, such as employee performance reviews. Credit scoring for loans or risk assessments for insurance remain permissible if they comply with existing European Union and national laws. These evaluations are generally context-specific, transparent, and justified by a legitimate purpose, distinguishing them from the broader, more opaque nature of social scoring. In summary, by prohibiting AI-based social scoring, the EU AI Act takes a firm stand against the potential misuse of technology in ways that could infringe upon people's personal freedoms and fundamental rights. This regulation helps ensure that as artificial intelligence technologies develop, they are used to support and enhance societal well-being, not undermine it. It reinforces the idea that while artificial intelligence can be a powerful tool for progress, its application must always respect human rights and ethical principles, promoting a future where technology serves all members of society fairly and justly. Please hit like, leave comments, share and subscribe to Lawtificial Integrity. We want the YouTube algorithm to absolutely love us. Explore the future at lawtofficialintegrity.ai. Because artificial intelligence needs human integrity.